Robert Herr in the hot seat. Explosive testimony from the former special counsel who concluded that President Biden is a, quote, elderly man with a poor memory, unquote, and therefore not fit to stand trial in the classified docs probe today. Well, anyway, today, Herr doubling down on his old man Joe assessment. Politics played no part whatsoever in my investigative steps. You exonerated a conviction. Him. I know that I the term willful retention the has a... A reasonable juror could have voted to convict based on the facts that you presented. Correct. Is it now okay if I uh, take home top secret documents, store them in my garage, and read portions of them to, to friends or associates? I can do that now under this new doctrine? Again, Congressman, I, I wouldn't recommend that you do that. You've essentially said so in your report. Uh, and, and certainly it would be exculpatory if I, if I simply told you, hey, I'm, I'm getting old. I don't remember stuff the way I used to. Did you have any reason to believe that President Biden lied to you? I do address in my report one response the president gave uh, to a question that we had posed to him that we deemed to be not credible. And Mr. President, why did you share classified information with your ghostwriter, the president? I did not share classified information. I did not share it. I guarantee I did not. That's not true, is it, Mr. Herr? That is inconsistent with the findings based on the evidence in, in my report. Yes, yeah, so it's a lie. It's just what regular people would say, right? Mm, Dems harping throughout the hearing that Biden's brain is fine because he sat for five hours with the special counsel over two days. Herr, on the other hand, says his time with Joe is precisely what led him to question the president's memory. Can you explain what specifically in your interview with President Biden led you to this conclusion? The conclusion um, that about a broad how he... statement that's been cited many times. Mm. The, the totality of the time that I spent um, with the president during his voluntary interview um, was something that I certainly uh, considered in, in framing my assessment and articulating it in the report. And that includes not only the words in the cold record of the transcript of the interview, but also the experience of being there in the room with him. Her testimony wasn't the only bomb dropped on Biden. They also released a transcript from his interview with the special counsel. This here passage proves that Biden lied through his teeth when he said it was her who first brought up Bo Biden's death. Turns out Joe Biden was the one who did it. With all that in mind, Dems did their best to argue that Joe ain't senile. Nobody suggests he's senile, and that's disrespectful of senior people with any kind of memory disability. Lots of seniors have memory disability, but they're not senile, and to do such was shameful. Joe Biden is a competent, good president who knows American values. President Biden had the mental acuity to navigate this situation. Donald Trump did not. I believe, as is his habit, that President Biden probably committed a verbal slip or two during the interview. And I'm not sure any of that matters, because when the interview was over, Mr. Herr completely exonerated President Biden. You know what kills me, Judge, is seeing Gerald Not Nadler being somehow an arbiter of health. Yeah. This is the least healthiest person I've ever seen in my life. But what did you make of this whole hearing in general? I think everybody has to remember the issue here is the retention and mishandling of classified documents. The special counsel came out and said, Joe Biden is a sympathetic old man with a bad memory. To the Dems, this was a cheap shot and it was unnecessary. To others, it was a reason that her chose not to file charges. To me, it's irrelevant. There is no defense of an aging old man with a bad memory in the penal law anywhere in the United States. In, in fact, should that issue even come up, it's up to the defendant to proffer it. It's up to a psychiatrist, the judge, and ultimately the jury. So what does her tell us? Her tells us two important things. Number one, I did not exonerate him. Number two, I did not reach a conclusion he was innocent. Instead, what her told us is we did identify evidence of willful disclosure. So to her, I say, to HUR, I say, you cannot predict once you've established evidence of a willful disclosure and mishandling that a jury will find him not guilty because he's an old man with a bad memory. That is not your job, Mr. Her. Your job is to decide whether there is sufficient evidence to bring a charge or whether there is not, whether there is a crime or not. It's either one way or the other. But not only was the evidence there, it was overwhelming. Joe Biden has been in Washington for 50 years. He has been a senator. He has been a vice president. He has been a president. 
and there is no fact pattern ever that protects a sitting senator from taking classified information out of his skiff. That is a crime, period, end of the story. And then he moved those documents from residence to residence, office to office, one of those offices paid for by the Chinese. And then he blames his staff for doing so, and that's a lie because the staff doesn't go into a skiff. So the documents end up unsecure, tattered, uncovered, in his garage, next to a broken lamp, next to his Corvette, and he sees those documents every time he drives the Corvette in or out. So to a person, the Democrats spent the whole day saying Donald Trump obstructed. Well, uh, newsflash, Donald Trump is not charged with obstructing. And number two, the issue is not the issue at hand. Obstruction is not the issue. And in the end, there are three people, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump. And ironically, the only person charged was Donald Trump, and yet he was the only person who had the right to declassify as president. Mm, well put. Jesse, uh, you saw the Democrats there trying to make it all about Trump. They even uh, enlisted a montage. You love montages, don't you? Yeah, I thought I was watching Fox and Friends for a second. <laughs> all the montages, they're getting the hang of it. They're well-produced hearings at this point. But it showed to me that what Biden did was worse than what Trump has done. And it showed there's two tiers of justice. There's mentally deficient Democrats and Republicans who can probably beat the Democrats. And we now have established through this testimony a pattern of over 40 years, Joe Biden taking documents away and then putting them all over the place, six different locations, three different states, garages, Chinatown locations, foreign dignitaries coming in and out, strange men and women coming in and out. He was putting his national security at risk, and these were the motives. And her said those two motives were money and ego. Eight million dollar book advance. That's the reason he broke the law. That's why he willfully took these classified documents home. And then ego. He wanted to burnish his credentials as a world leader and keep these documents for posterity or perhaps even a presidential run. And not only that, he destroyed the evidence. His team just deletes half of it when they find out the guy's investigating him, and then Biden says, I don't remember about a zillion times. Now, I'm beginning to wonder, is Biden dumb or is he playing dumb? Because in the spring of 2021, the same month he green lights the Trump raid at Mar-a-Lago or the investigation, mm -hmm. what does he do? He tells his entire team, go find all of my classified documents all over the place and get them ready. And they didn't disclose that he had classified documents in the spring of 2021. They waited 18 months to voluntarily to disclose that they had all these documents sitting around. So to say he cooperated is a lie. He had 18 months where he's getting everything in order. Yep. And her basically said the real reason, it's not just because he's old and sympathetic, he can't get a conviction of a Democrat president in D.C. That's the reason. If this was in any other jurisdiction, this is case closed. Mm, that's an interesting point, Jessica. He did really? it because he, I thought it was. I thought everything was interesting, although I did zone out for a while. Uh, but it is pretty clear that Joe treated the documents the way Hunter treats drugs, just leaves him everywhere. What do you think? I don't think anything that anyone else at this table thinks, actually. <laughs> um, good, uh, good getting Hunter in on this, yes. though. I'm glad that we uh, brought that full circle. <laughs> yes. This hearing actually started last night. We couldn't watch it at that point, but the news broke that Robert Hur was going to be appearing as a private citizen mm -hmm. and not as a member of the Department of Justice or as a special counsel. And what is Robert Hur when he's a private citizen? He's a Republican. And what did Robert Hur get? He got coaching from Trump world. That seems pretty suspicious to me. If you were going into a hearing where you want to seem above board and nonpartisan, why are you getting counseled by the former president's people? And why aren't you showing up as a, represent, a representative of the Department of Justice? Thank God the Dems didn't do Who's that it? with Jan 6 or anything I else. I, I missed that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I did too. Who coached really? Well, who you want to see all the articles? Well, who coached Sarah, yeah. Sarah Isker is one of the people who coached him. She's now an ABC analyst, she said a Republican. She, I saw, the only thing I saw on Twitter was her saying that's not true. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Independent, all of these sorts, the Hill, all of these sources the are wrong. Oh my God! Really? That's the not, Hill. 
The no, all these articles. All I know yeah, is he showed up as a How come nobody brought that up? You're bringing right. it up. I, <laughs> I don't know why no one brought that up, but it was the biggest story that was circulating. They would have brought it up. Right. Why? Okay, so he was there not as a private citizen now. No, I'm okay. not saying no, that. Okay. So, well, yeah. what, I, no, what I didn't hear, and I totally missed, is that Trump world coached him. Okay. And you're saying Sarah Isger. I'm saying the only thing I saw was Sarah Isger saying, because I that. follow her, okay. that she's saying, so, that is not true. Right. But I've okay. not talked to any of them. Hmm. I, well, wait, Did we get off track it? here? No. No, this is important. <laughs> okay. Well, the GOP <laughs> always goes in, going into these hearings, they always bank on the fact that Democrats haven't read the report or they're not going to use specific citations. And Robert Hur contradicted himself over and over again. Page six, he says, innocent explanation for the documents. Page 12, they could have been brought there by mistake. Page 12, the decision to decline criminal charges was straightforward. The GOP is going wild over this story about the ghostwriter and the classified information, and that is the will for retention. But on page 10, he says the evidence doesn't show that Biden knew they were classified. No. And then on page 245, it's written in ink that the evidence falls short, that this was... Willful, willfully retaining the documents, he uh, classified documents. He said, be careful, that's classified. He said that Then why the does writer. the report not say that? He Just also about. notes that he has a photographic memory. Who? Her says that oh, about Biden uh, in the Biden transcript. Biden has a photographic yeah. memory. Yes, he I'm does. Oh and then God. Eric Swalwell want... in his questioning says, why didn't you put that in the report? Go to Dana. If Can you... I get to it? Oh, yes, whatever uh, Jesse you Hold. Whatever you want. Yes, da don't, don't say that to me, Dana. Um, <laughs> what do you make of this? Okay. Um, I think it's fascinating that most of the Democrats were complaining about the media coverage of the Her report than that was actually in the Her report because they hated it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we knew immediately, and that's when I said, oh, this election is on. That day that it came out, because him saying it's an elderly man with a poor memory is what 86% of the country believes. So it's just reinforcing that. And it doesn't matter how many times a congressman on the Democratic side, side say, he's a competent president. People have made this decision with their own eyes and ears. The other thing, there was the news that came out that said that, indeed, the White House did ask her to water down that portion of the mm -hmm. report in a letter, and apparently her did not do that. So he wasn't persuaded on that. The other thing is that the, the White House, through the Democrat National Committee, had the First Lady of the United States issue a fundraising email asking for money for Biden saying that how dare Robert Hur bring up Bo Biden's death. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that's not true. They are so willing to disparage anybody who works in the federal government if mm -hmm. they think it will help them, mm -hmm. right? So even when this turns out not to be true, and we see it in the transcript, then they don't disavow it. That day, I'm assuming that the people who wrote the, uh, in the White House counsel's office had read the report, knew that wasn't true, and still didn't say anything. It reminds me of Whipgate. Yeah. Right? They'll never apologize for that. But here's the other thing. I'm asking all federal employees, that includes any elected official, if you have access to classified information, respect the law. This country has really big problems. Mm -hmm. And we are, it is, such, yeah. it is so maddening to have to spend time watching all of this when just leave the classified documents where they're supposed to be. And then you won't have to have a special counsel like Robert, who, who has a distinguished career, who decides, you know what? I don't need this job. I can go work in private practice and make a lot more money and have a better life after this hearing. There you go. All right. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.